Hello everybody, this is the Chess here, and what you're seeing right now is a battle with the myth boss known as Philetheus. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But uh, this is my attempt at beating him solo, and I make a whole lot of mistakes in the fact that he pulls out Northrus in the first turn. And the fact that he's myth, and I'm... It's, it's just a lot of complications that made this battle pretty tough for me. It was a close call at the end, you'll see how close it was. But I did not quite beat him on my own, so I figured I'd just throw this in here because this was the next thing for part 5. But since I didn't beat him, I didn't want to throw it into part 5, so I figured I'd just have this as a little extra. And then part 5 will be up tomorrow where I actually show the battle that I did beat him in with my friend. So yeah, I'm just going to commentate this battle of me sucking. I mean, look at this. Every time I put up a tower shield, nope, Minotaur or Orthrus or something. And then, oh, now I'm stunned. It's just, ugh, it wasn't a good battle for me. I got... I had a lot of bad luck. I don't think I had any good luck as far as criticaling, criti criticaling, stuff like that goes. But yeah, uh, part five will be up tomorrow, most likely. And besides that, hopefully you're enjoying the Avalon playthroughs. And also follow me on Twitter, because I made a Twitter account. It'll be in the description. But yeah, I use Basilisk, because I want to get rid of the minion, because he's annoying, and Storm is just annoying in general. So we're trying to get rid of him, so that's the plan. So we're getting rid of him. And then we're just going to solo one-on-one -on -one boss, mono we mono etc., etc. Also, everyone, I want you to check out Nicholas Lion Rider. I will put his link, uh, his, yeah, whatever. He started making videos again, and his newest video, which is an Avalon playthrough, is very similar to mine. He got inspiration from me. He didn't steal anything from me, so don't think that. He just got, he was inspired by me. So that's why he's doing, like, the subtitles and stuff similar to what I do. So go check him out. He's pretty funny and everything. And maybe we'll do a video together, Nicholas. If you're listening, we should vi do a video together. I'm assuming you have, like, Skype or something along those lines. So, yeah, we should add each other and do that. Because I think that would be fun. But, yeah, here's where I heal because, obviously, I'm in a desperate time. Desperate time just calls for desperate measure measures. Not that healing is really a desperate measure. It's more of a instant response, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, yeah, Mythblade, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not really good at live, I'm not really good at commentating over a battle after it's already happened. It doesn't really turn out very well, it's kind of stupid. But the commentation I did while I was playing was just really stupid. I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, put a blade on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, blah, blah, blah. ladies and gentlemen, I'm an asshole and I can't commentate by myself. I suck at commentating solo. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at me put a blade on. Ladies and gentlemen, watch him fizzle. Ladies and gentlemen, watch me select this card. Ladies and gentlemen, discard that. Ladies and gentlemen, put them another trap on him. Put another prism on him. Can't even say the right card, because I suck in a better better. Ladies and gentlemen, watch him not fizzle this time using Humongo Fog. Ladies and gentlemen, the Humongo Fog is going to hit me. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. Ladies and gentlemen, I got hurt for 373. Ladies and gentlemen, I still got a heal on me, so it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, put the thing on the thing and the thing. Three's company, two. <sighs> Said most of that one breath. I was tiring. Alright, go, Medusa, go, 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 kill him. See, I thought I was doing pretty good at this point. I did 5,000 damage, so he's like more than half dead. I was like, alright, alright, I got this under control. And then my froggy puts a blade on me. I'm like, yeah, frog, nice. But um, as you can see, I don't have a shield and I'm at 896 health left, so I'm kind of low right now. I was like, oh, yes, he passed. I might have a chance at this. And I put uh, more blades on. I think. No, I just passed. Alright. And this is where I'm almost dead. Thank God he didn't critical. Not that it matters, because again, like I said, I do die. But we just try to hang in there a little longer. I try to get one more attack off, and then he does this bullshit move and gets rid of my blades. Alright. So this is where I'm like, dude, I have to hit him. If I hit him with Medusa, then maybe he'll be stunned. So that's what I do. I go for a Medusa. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Boom. I don't know why I said he'd be stunned, because obviously he wouldn't be stunned. He already has stun shields. So never mind. But yep, ouch. 31 health. I was like, yes! Think! And I was like, wait, I don't even have a heal. Damn it. Oh well. And then. I'm like, alright. I got this. I can survive. I'm gonna kill him right now. Here we go, he's dead. Boom, no. Still not freaking dead. He has 200 or so health left. And I was like, that's bullshit. And then I got really sad and I just exited out of the game. So, yeah. But anyway, that's the that's how the fight went. Hopefully you enjoy it. I might do more of these with other boss fights and dungeons. I'll do the whole playthrough. But other than that, part 5 will be up tomorrow, and hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the Avalon playthrough. 
Till then, I will see you later. This is Chez. Peace out.